Hey, what's up my Android friends? David here, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, bringing you another episode of... Yeah, I clipped my nails and I didn't—I forgot the pinky. You guys probably think I'm like a crackhead. Huh, weird. Yeah, I just realized that right now. Uh, but I'm not going to edit it out, I don't care. Anyway, I was just bringing you another episode of HTC One S-ness. I kind of didn't label it HTC One S-ness, but it kind of is because it's on the HTC One S phone. Uh, but it's actually for a lot of phones, rooted phones for sure. Um, obviously with the title you saw it had to do with the, the Paranoid Pi um, launcher thingy. Well, 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 messed up. Look at that. Oh, it's probably better if I do it with my right hand. There we go. Yep, no matter what screen you're on, boom, there it is. And guess what? I don't have Android 4.2 Paranoid ROM, and that's what these Pi launchers are on. I'm still on 4.1, but somebody has created this little LMT launcher. And basically, when you download it, you can just type just type in, uh, when you go to Google search, just type in um, XDA LMT launcher. And then you'll find the forum. I'll actually have the forum page uh, listed down below uh, in the balls area so that you guys can easily find it. But yeah, if, once you uh, get it downloaded and um, uh, onto your, in the, you know, installed onto your phone, just open it up and you got the start and stop touch service, which, you know, you'd hit start. And then you got many, many options here. Um, a lot of them I actually haven't even gone through yet, but there is a crap ton of options. You know, there's set gesture input, set touch service mode, blah, blah, blah. There's even a blacklist on here. It's crazy. Vibration time, all kinds of stuff. But mainly, um, let's see, you got pie control position. I mean, there's so much you can customize with this. And I just, I have it just like the basic, you know, so I didn't really mess with a lot of this. You know, you can change the animation time, the feedback style, all that fun stuff. Um, you got the info, of course. This is uh, LMT version 1.86 by No Name 81. You got your gestures, which you can do. This can uh, act as, I mean, it's similar to when launchers have gestures too. Like when I swipe up on my home screen, it, you know, it brings up my app drawer. Um, ISA, I really haven't um, messed with either, but it's got invisible, <laughs> it's basically invisible swipe areas. So, I mean, there's a lot of these invisible swiping and gesturing going on. But right here is what I dealt with was because obviously this is where you put stuff on your uh, little Pi launcher. So when you open up like Pi item one and one, uh, number one, I can't even talk. Uh, you can have none or you can choose an app. You can choose home, recent apps, menu, back, search. I mean, there's so much stuff. You can have a toggle command, a lot of stuff here that you can use for your little shoom. I just set it as, you know, my alarm clock, settings, search voice and regular setting, and then of course recent apps. Pretty nice, very nice. It's just so futuristic looking, you know? I think that's what it is. Like it's not really needed, technically, but it just looks so cool. But yeah, you could choose any app you want. If you open up the app, bleh, bleh, see? Just any app that's in your... Um, I noticed on my phone, though, that some of them would not open the app. So I was having a little bit of problems with it. You can also have two layers, too. Like if I pick something... Here, let's just pick something random here. Like, say, AccuWeather. So now, there's a whole other level. And you can, you know, divide that up with 5, too. And you can also, in your settings... I forgot exactly where. Uh, blah, blah, blah activation area pie colors you can change the color like if you wanted it not what i have if you wanted it just like ics ish blue boom there you go which is kind of cool um but you can also have um you could choose if you want the icon to show up like here like show app Im images um show status infos yeah you can have it where it just says app or or you could just have it where it has the actual icon which is kind of cool so, I mean, if you have a rooted phone and you are looking forward to having this little bad boy right here, you can get it. It's free. Go to the XDA page down below and put it on your phone. Like I, like I said, you have to be rooted, though, uh, sadly. But, yeah, if you're rocking a nice little ROM and you're rooted, get that pie. Get that lovely, tasty, paranoid pie on your phone. Well, all right, guys, I thank you for watching this. I just can't stop doing that. You can also make it too where it's either on this side, the top, or the bottom. I just like it because I'm right-handed, obviously. It's just perfect right there. The only thing that can be a downside if you're ever touching the right side of it. See how I'm like trying to swipe over and it's doing that? Yeah, you might want to like 
you got to get used to that. You got to like swipe right here, but it's it's not that hard to get used to, but it's just pretty. It's not pretty. You're pretty. Well, all right, guys. This has been uh, another kind of episode of HTC One S NIS. Um, make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. All right, guys, I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.